One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 2007 Ford F350 Crew Cab Dually 4x4 Lariat XLT Super Duty thing, Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. I don't know what else to say about it. It's the Cowboy Special. It's got the horns, it's got the stacks, it's got the pipes, it's got the chrome. Boom! Right there. So, that's the truck. It's a one owner truck. I do a lot of one owner cars. You can check my website, oneownercarguy.com. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube. My channel here is Serial Marshmallows. And I'll tell you what, I do a lot of cool one owner trucks. This one's even cooler, and I know even more history about it than almost any other one owner truck I've had. It's my dad's truck. He bought it about 12 years ago or so. 11 or 12 years? 11. Man, it's been 12, I think. I don't know how that all adds up. Because I think you get them a year early. Because he ordered it. He got this thing a year early or whatever. And not a year early. You know how it goes. You get them out three months early or something. So you get them in the year before. I think now this is 18. It's almost 12 years. Um, so yeah, great truck. It's been a great truck. Um, he started driving a Mercedes to where he didn't wear this one out in two years, three years worth of mileage and burned the warranty up. And he made it the full 10 years of warranty. And then about... Four, five, six months later, it had the problem that they all have with the injectatory thing or whatever. Now, I'm doing a quick walk around. This is going to be an interior review. Well, he fixed that. Seven, eight grand later, boom. The truck's running just like it should. It's awesome. <clears throat> That's your once around at the nighttime. Now, I'm going to get to showing you the interior and doing all that stuff. There's basically nothing on it that doesn't work. I didn't say this in the other video. It's got the Anki. I didn't know there was an Anki. That's cool. I mean, I could have read it. The blue's wearing off. It's just faded. It's old. It's 10, 12 years old now. It's a brand new truck to me, but it's older. So power stroke, all that. I'm gonna show you under the hood before we start doing too much. Actually, the inside's probably gonna get dark quicker, huh? Door panels, great condition. Great condition, not all marked up. The fake wood ain't all messed up or nothing. Mileage, one, two, three, four, two, nine. Boom, boom, almost time for a great picture. Headliner and all that is in great shape. It's just absolutely in great shape. Sunroof, the whole deal. The seat's not all tore to hell or nothing, ripped up. It's in great shape. It's a Lariat. A little wear there from just like the coloring wearing off the leather. A little bit of fold over and stuff on that. Just, it's not ripped up or nothing, but it's definitely, it's, it's taken care of, but it's been taken care of. Um, it could be cleaned, and that would definitely make it a little bit nicer on the inside. Um, I didn't clean the seats very much, and as I do this, I realize this would have came a lot cleaner with just cleaning the seats. Uh, this here is coming undone. I didn't do the interior detail or I would have done that. That would be even cleaner. The truck's clean. Pedals, just a little wear on the edge. You can tell somebody rides the edge. I'm going to have to give him a hard time about that. He'd tell me to keep my whole foot covering the pedal when I was a kid. Factory mat's gone, but you got still got the clip on it if you wanted to buy one. This thing's in it. Just hardly no uh, pedal wear or anything. All the electronic mirrors and windows and all that stuff work. Everything on it is just in great shape. Um, lights, all the lights. He collects um, all the sticker things for maintenance and keeps track of that. So it was kept track of and done just correctly. In the back, just clean as can be. Not all ripped up, tore up. Or... It was a work truck to a certain degree, but it was his baby. So it didn't get put to work very much. He might have threw something in the back and carried around some plans or a briefcase. And that's what all this is from. In fact, there was this thing in the back, the Postal Service thing because he was carrying that around just with tools and stuff in it to where it doesn't mess his truck up and the truck's clean that's all there is to say about it. the truck is clean gold coin see now this one sucks i'm always looking for a gold coin but if i find one in this one then i'm gonna have to give it back because it's my dad's and you'll have to forgive me i'm gonna hang this over here dump it in this thing and take it off so now you might be looking at walgreens or something for a minute because I'm taking this thing and putting it inside so before we do the test drive it doesn't go blowing all over the road and stuff. Smart, huh? Doors are tight. Just tight as can be. Okay, so, inner fender well thing blown off. The little catch catch there. But look how clean everything is. It's got a fifth wheel or gooseneck, whatever that ball in the bed is. I get all the names mixed up. It's in great shape. Everything looks good. Pump and I don't know how many gallon that is. He might know. So you can call him up about it. You can call my office, whatever. Check my website, oneownercarguy.com. Hitches and balls everywhere. Balls here and balls there, balls everywhere. That's where I've done the exterior. I'm going to keep going. That mark, you've seen it, but I didn't say, here, there's a mark there. But I went over and it said miscellaneous marks. But now you've seen it. 
Look at this. It's just nice. Um, I don't even know if he's ever pulled this seat up or not. Still got the factory tray back there, jack and all that. Backs of the seats in great condition, headliner, interior door panels, great condition. Everything is in great condition. I need to pop the hood and show you under there. Look at this. It's just clean. Lumbar and all that stuff. Factory floor mats, great condition. That one's been replaced. You got the Giotto desk. And he might have the other piece of that. If not, you can probably buy it on eBay. This one should have been cleaned a little bit too. I didn't see this. Up, back, down, up, up in the back, down in the back, down in the front, up in the front, just like that. Miscellaneous stuff, a lot of that'll be gone. Windows and all that works, it's, you know. That's a lot of the cars I get. They may be a one owner and this went wrong or this went wrong. No, that bugs my dad. He wouldn't be a, he got people calling him down. There's people taking pictures. You want, if you want something that people talk to you at the gas station about, people talk to you at the gas station about this truck. That's all there is to say about it. Small ding right here I just kind of seen that I might not have mentioned before and I'd been wanting to tell you about this one. That's a small ding there that I hadn't really seen. Let's do it right there, boom. Hard to see. And then this is wrinkling. Lights could be redone with that little light thing they do. Hang on, let me put this. I can actually sit this on the horns. Usually I have to hang it around my neck. Okay. No foam hood liner. I don't know if it came with one. I'll bet it did and it's gone or something. Um, look at this. Just great shape. I'm trying to, boom, there we go. Now I can see where I am. Just great shape. Beautifully clean truck. Here comes the Parrots at East County. Ford Motocraft batteries. Two of them, buddy. Love it or leave it, I've got to show you. So much cooler than the crows and different other animals everywhere. Just having parrots go over. Pretty cool. Okay, so, absolutely great shape. Everything on the truck is just nice as it gets. Nice as it gets. I'd be comfortable. Look at how new that looks. Under the truck is just very well maintained and taken care of. Big old one, 36 month replacement, 100 month warranty on these bad boys. That's insane. Huh, cool. Well, that's it, as clean as can be. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. We'll go take a test drive. And there's extra things hooked up to the auxiliary switches and things like that inside. I'll show you some different things. He's got a pump for the back. He's got the air nozzle thing. I don't know how it all works. I know these tires, they still got the maker's marks and the titties all over the sides. Just put these Michelin's on. I, I, I like a Michelin tire. I really do. I still got all the uh, rubber. Yeah, that stuff. It looks great. It's in great shape. Um, a couple frays right here, but it's not ripped apart or nothing. Okay. One, two, three, four, two, nine. Oh, man. I've taken the key out. That's not good. <laughs> maybe I've got it. Not maybe. I better have got it. Oh man, I'm getting worried, there we go. Here's the key. I got the alarm um, key fob in the other pocket. There's no warning lights or nothing. I'm gonna put this back in here, it's my dad's. It won't come with the truck, but there's that. Where you can see, now all the warning lights will go away. Boom. And that's that. So, the truck's been maintained been taken care of and such. Oh, I'll put my seatbelt on. And it sounds amazing with those things on it. Let's, here's the windows going down and they go back up just fine. There's that. Wow, they actually let them go all the way down now. Think about that. It used to be where you couldn't go all the way down. So all that works and everything. Um, moon roof works. And that's the sun roof, I guess, actually. And that would be the moon roof. All that works. Power points, drink holders, extra pocket. Well, I wonder if he's ever even used that. He might not even know he has that. I don't know what all that does. It's hooked up to something. It comes with a factory um, boomer bopper, whatever that is. Oh, you tap it once. Trailer disconnected. Huh, it's all connected. The tranny shifts down by itself when you're driving, just like any of these do. They started putting the old um, poop handles on this side as well as that side in a certain year, but not up here. So, interesting. 
Um, let's see. This light, that light, this little light, and that little light. That light that way, boobity boom, all that works. It slides forward and looks good too. Boom! That is your interior review. Door locks, locked, and stuff. And that's the thing, everything on this truck is a working thing. Um, overdrive, tow haul, all that's working. Lights. The pipes sound absolutely amazing. Definitely get you some attention and some looky loos. Some looky loos, no doubt. Um, I like going across the bridge here. If I can take it up to 45 real quick. Well, 40 on the bridge. But that's 40 right there. Just like Ooh. one little bump with the pedal. Powerful as can be. I said it in the other video. My dad was a little surprised. We just bought a 2000 7.3 liter diesel. Uh, with 52,000 original miles. And it's an extended cab 4x2. So, turns on a dime. But it just is not as powerful as Sam. And I, it's seven years older. You ain't getting away from me in that Toyota, buddy. This thing just idles down the road at 40. Just idles. In fact, we're only going 35 now. Shift, the downshift, every bit of the shifting on this truck and braking, um, you gotta give it more, it's right now. Um, anything this truck has needed, any kind of normal or extra maintenance has been done. And when he drops stuff off at the dealer, he's crazy. He's crazy is what it is. He's got, he got more money than he knows what to do with. He goes to the dealer, just drops it off, they call him up, he'll just have him do it. He'll just have him do it, man. And like, I, I can get him two of these batteries that I put them in my trucks, they last for years. And they're great batteries from a guy here in town. And I get them for like 30, 35 a pop. Best deal on, ooh, there's three trailers here now. Best deal on batteries in the whole wide world, and he knows it. Instead, he'll just go and spend stinking, well, a lot. He'll go and spend stinking close to 300 bucks plus on just having to put a couple batteries in the truck. I'm gonna turn around right here, go back down, give you one more little zoomy zoom. Um, actually, before I do, I'm gonna get out here and take some pictures by this thing, just because it looks cool for scale next to the concrete truck thing. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. So there we go. I took some pictures by the concrete plant. Then you can figure out that, hey, this here's a big work truck, baby. Yeah, something along that line. Overdrive, everything, everything. It's all working. Tilt steering. I, I'm not gonna turn the wipers on because we just did the detail. And I hate to give a truck back to somebody with the wiper marks. God, I love the sound, the feel, and the power. And having these pipes on there, it frees it back up a bit and gives you a little bit more power. It gives you p -p 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 power, I'm telling you. You can pull the same load that stinking big old stinking Chevy pull right there. So that's the deal. We are clipping on down the line. And I'm gonna go back to the shop here, call it a night, and let you call me up and buy this truck. That's what you need to do. If you're looking for a power stroke, crew cab, dually, four by, etc. Stop and call me. 406 64. Call my dad. 406 813 619 813 0866. I'm looking at these trailers and I think I want a triple axle versus a double axle with duels. But I don't know. I just don't want to have to change an inner duel. Yeah. Okay. On the road. all there baby it is all there if you're interested in the truck call them up 619-813-0866 if it's down the road and it's like six months eight months two years later you're watching this video and you want one of these trucks call me up i go to auction all the time 
I've always got something like this around. It'll be for sale. We, we, we do it. We, we have these. Just sold an excursion last week. Uh, mirrors work. I just was going to show you that and didn't. And I just wanted to get on it a bit there a couple times to show you. It's all there. It sounds mean. And it's runs and drives like it should drive straight drives true it's a nice truck through and through hey I'm a poet and I don't know it okay well that is your video I could get this thing back to my dad's now to be nice to where I could have more room in my place to do my stuff so one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. I got all kinds of old cars all kinds of old cars old Lincoln here. That Beamer's going to Germany, to Cologne, Germany. The Dodge Dakota, you can check it, or um, Durango, you can check it out on my site. I'll take 2350 bucks. It's got like 106 on it. The Astro Van's only got 68. This thing is a one owner um, Infinity. I forget what that's got. All kinds of cars. I got an LS400 out there. The Mercedes is sold. The Excursion is sold. I got the Magnum. All kinds of cop cars sold. All kinds of stuff. But this ain't sold. And this is what you're looking at anyways. The Cabriolet sold. I got 25 of those Trans Ams in Montana. Look at these wheels, just absolutely beautiful. Awesome tires. I just can't believe how nice. I don't wanna let it go because the tires. All the stinking plastic on it. You got a footprint, but it's in good shape. It's a great truck. You get the point? One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Call my dad, Fred. Yeah, call him Fred, that's his name. 619-813-0866. Later on, you can call me. 406-546-8748 if it's already sold i'll get you one ask him he'll stink and get you one he's a dealer he's sell car so that's the deal thanks for watching have a great day or night whatever it is wherever you are one on a car guy.com